Hello everyone, this is a special 420 slash 911 update for Strictly Tesla. For the 420 part of it, Elon Musk and what he did on the Joe Rogan podcast, that was hands down the best Elon Musk interview. I can tell you right now that I am even more of a fan of Elon Musk after seeing him on the Joe Rogan podcast. I am a fan of Joe Rogan, not so much for the MMA stuff, even though I do or did watch a lot of MMA back in the day. I actually uh, saw Joe Rogan do stand-up about 14 years ago now. It was a long time ago. So I, I, I've just known about him for a while. I, I think he's I think he's an all right guy. I think he's a good guy. And seeing Elon Musk in that environment was just awesome for me. Uh, I've always been more of a fan of Elon Musk than Tesla. <laughs> so, because I think Tesla as a company, I can't hold one person, or I can't hold Elon Musk responsible for e like Tesla taking forever to deliver my vehicle, um, this, that, and the other. All the other things that go on can't completely hold him responsible. You can hold him responsible for the things that he does on Twitter and stuff like that. Things, that, the promises he may he makes and sometimes can't, or most of the time cannot keep. But you realize more than anything from that interview that he's not a robot. Like, people make jokes that he's, a, you know, a, an alien or an android or something. He's, he's a human being, and he's got a lot going on, and I really enjoyed it. And I think that people flipping out over him, taking that puff of, because he really didn't inhale it. I mean, anyone who knows anything about smoking pot knows that he did not inhale from, from that blunt or whatever. He didn't really drag on that at all. He got nothing out of that. If anything, he got a contact high. Now, I'm not going to sit here and go on this whole thing like, hey, let people like legalize marijuana. I'm not even going to get into all that because, quite frankly, what he said following taking that, that little bit of that drag or whatever that was, that fake hit, he made a really good point, and it's the same point that I make to a lot of people. Getting stoned is is fine. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. But if you're trying to get somewhere in life or you're trying to get things done, you don't have time to be getting stoned. And I know that from experience. I mean, you, you know, if you're out there, you're an entrepreneur, you're a businessman or a woman, whatever, you know that most people... Now, I've known some people who were very productive when they were stoned. It was like they were meant to get high and more power to them. But for me personally, I cannot be under the influence of anything and get anything done, anything productive, you know, at all. So everyone flipping out and saying the stock is tumbling because he took a, you know, because of that interview, they're, they're full of it. He's going to bounce back from that. Tesla's going to bounce back from it. I'm not, I'm not hearing a word of that, that nonsense at all. And at the end of the day, it was legal for them to do it where they were. Doesn't matter about the whole SpaceX thing. I don't care about that. It's like, obviously, he knew what he was doing when he did that. And he didn't give a fuck. Oops, excuse my language. <laughs> but uh, he didn't give a frunk. Let me, let me say that. People are asking what I think about it. I think, let him do what he wants to do. It's just like Joe Rogan said, you're Elon Musk. You can do what you want. Do what you want. If he wants to get stoned, he's not going to. You can see that you can tell the guy doesn't get stoned. It wasn't an act. He's like sitting there looking at the, the joint, like he's like, oh, oh, what's this? You know, it, it was hilarious. It was the funniest thing ever to watch it. And you know, and I'm going to tell you right now, that this does not make me a fanboy, but that interview, I am pretty sure, and I've watched a lot of the Joe Rogan podcasts. That may be the only one that I've ever watched and listened to start to finish. So that's saying a lot. And if you look at the, I, I haven't checked today, but yesterday, and it, it's September 11th, by the way, 2018, for those who want the year. But yesterday, it was at 8 million. So it's like the most, I'm pretty sure it's the most watched and listened to Joe Rogan podcast of all time. And I don't think it'll ever be beaten. Everyone's watching it. And, analyzing it and stuff, but yeah, just everything that he said in there about AI and all that stuff is just, it's good stuff. He's going to be like, 
some guy that we have someone has to track down in the future <laughs> and he says I warned them I told them about AI so uh, anyway all right I hope all of you're doing well I'm gonna pick the videos back up soon I've just been working really really hard uh, on my wife's studio and it's just been it's been crazy and I'm just having to deal with a bunch of stuff so it's making it really hard for me to, to constantly work on these uh, you know, post these videos every day, but I'm, I'm getting on it. I'll, I'm going to get back to it. And even all the ones that are old that should have been out, they'll eventually see the light of day. They'll make it to YouTube. All right. Over and out people.